My name is Salvador Mateo, and I just want to share a little piece of my history and a little piece of my story of what's happened to me in the past when I was in high school. It's about 2009, and when I was 17 years old, my mother was deported, and she was lied to. She had applied for a work permit at immigration in San Francisco. While she had applied for it, they called her in, asked her to come in to pick up her work permit because it was approved. When she got there, she was cuffed and was given a chance to call me. When she called me, all, I got, all she was able to say was that she was being deported and that I had to take care of my little sister. Soon after, um, we were evicted from our home because I we couldn't afford to pay the rent. 17 year old kid and the 15 year old kid, 14 year old kid couldn't afford to pay a rent. And I ended up dropping out of high school for two weeks, if you call that dropping out. Just, um, just having to go through that, you know, just having through to live through something that could have been avoided, to separate a family like that to separate my family. My mom was deported and then she attempted to cross the border to come, you know, back with, with her kids. And she was sold by a, a, a twisted coyote, a person who crosses you through the border. And he sold them out to immigration where people were taken and incarcerated soon after they were captive by ICE or immigration. and. When I got a collect call from Arizona prison, she told me that she had been busted, she was sold out, and that she wasn't gonna be able to make it to my graduation or to come with me and my little sister. Deportations aren't a solution to anything, you know. Deportations cause you no know, heartaches, they cause families to break apart, they cause kids to fall into drug abuse. They cause families to go under welfare, to ask for help from the government to support their own families and the kids, and just asks a lot and causes a lot of damage and a lot of, just too many things to even name that can happen from a deportation. Deportating a mother, a father, a cousin, a brother. It doesn't matter who gets deported, at the end of the day it affects the family that is being deported it affects the community around them. It brings fear to the community. It's, it's not a solution at all. Families and individuals come to this country, you know, not to do what Donald Trump says, to like rape our women or take, our, take resources or money, but to seek an opportunity just like the rest of us to seek a well-paying job, to seek a job that pays you more than what Mexico does, which is $5 a day. I mean, who, who can be able to support and feed their families on $5 a day? And, you know, it, it's disgusting what people have to go through just to come to this country and then to be harassed on a daily basis because they don't speak the language, because they look different. It's always scary to wake up every morning and know that any day someone can come and just say that you're being deported and then get, back, get sent back to your country that you flee from to seek an opportunity and leaving your family behind, leaving your kids behind and knowing in the back of your head that you know you might not never see your family again. On behalf of Planting Justice, we'd like to ask all of our supporters to stand against deportations and against the ICE raids that are going on right now. And something simple and easy that can be done to try to avoid and try to get and try to get ICE out of our community is to call the White House right now and let them know how this is affecting the communities, to stand up with our immigrant community and families and let them know that we are supporting them and that we want them to stay in this country.